Hello everyone and welcome to introduction to programming using Python. Through this video, we attempt to answer all your questions before you start writing your first ever code. You might be wondering if coding is something you should consider. There are so many questions to answer. How long does it take to learn to code? Why should I learn to code? What is programming? Where do I start? Why should I choose Python and not any other language? What all would that be in this course? And finally, what kind of jobs can I expect? A lot of people before entering into programming field are curious to know how things work behind the scenes. How within a few seconds Google gives us a search result for whatever we are looking for. And that too very relevant results. If I want to learn how to cook dosa and sambar, I could easily get it in one click. Additionally, how are we able to connect to someone on Facebook around the world? Or how Google Maps really works to give us direction anywhere in this world? All the above reasons are inspiring enough to choose this field. Right now, you may be on your phone or computer which is programmed to allow you to watch this video. If you're already coding for years, you'll be able to apply this skill beyond your computers. It doesn't matter if you're a non-programmer, beginner or experienced person, there are multiple reasons you should learn to choose. The most important one being an attractive salary and multiple career options. We are continuously hearing that technology is taking our jobs. Earlier, a textile factory would have required thousands and lakhs of people to work and get clothes and garments out to the market. Today, with only a minimal number of people, a factory can pr produce double the amount of clothes and garments. So you get it? People who know how to work with technologies are replacing people who used to make things by hand. Programmers are high in demand all over the world. You can work for some companies or you can start your own startup. The salary of programmers is also very attractive because it requires you to design and create something of your own. If you're using a smartphone, whether it's WhatsApp or Facebook, then you must know that all these things are using some kind of programming behind the scenes. They're already immersed in the programs of different types. What if you learn and start running these programs according to your will? See the example of how Facebook YouTube, Google Maps, and others came to being. Someone thought, why not connect with my old school or college friends who are living in another city? And Facebook was born. Someone thought, wouldn't it be great if I can record a video and put it online for people to see? And today, you have YouTube. Someone thought, I'm in a new city, and I keep having to ask people to tell me how to go from one place to another. And today, you can do that using Google Maps. From all these examples, you see that there was a need Someone suffered from a lack of something, and then they dared to address that need because they could through programming, and they knew there was a way to solve that problem and make things easier for themselves and probably others. You don't have to learn computer programming to solve the problems of the world, but you can very well solve yours. Right now, you're using a smartphone. You open WhatsApp with the press of button, and when you do that, there is an instruction sent to your phone to open WhatsApp screen and it opens right in front of you. All these interactions that you have with your phone, opening an app, writing a message, liking a post, all of them are really programmed by engineers to make your phone and computer respond to your interactions. Your computer and mobile phone doesn't really understand the human language. It only understands zeros and ones. Communicating with your computer in English or Hindi would be like communicating with a person who understands only Spanish. And that's where programming comes in. It essentially acts as a translator between us humans and the computer. It takes in our input, which is basically the code, and converts that into the language that a computer understands. There are a lot of things that you can do once you learn how to code. It can be made as exciting as you can ever imagine it to be. Here's a fun example. Like we discussed, computers don't understand languages like English or Hindi, so we have to use a programming language they understand to give them instructions. A programming language takes in those instructions you give and converts that into something a computer can understand, which is essentially zeros and ones. We don't have to do this conversion ourselves, neither do we need to understand zeros and ones. We just need to understand programming language and how to give instructions. In our last example, we gave our computer four simple instructions, turn and face the cliff. 
walk towards the cliff, stop at the edge of the cliff and jump off the cliff. Basically, two takeaways you need. One, you have to have a set of instructions to turn in a certain way. And second, those, sequence, uh, those, those instructions are in sequential order. So now, you would find yourself asking this to yourself. Uh, there are so many programming languages out there. Why learn Python only? Just like there are so many human languages out there, Hindi, English, Japanese, French, German, Urdu, Telugu, Malayali, and so many more. The idea is to start off with something which is, number one, easy to learn. Number two, gives you the flexibility to be able to work on any kind of project. You want to work, create a, want to create a website or a game or the next Facebook, you can all do that through Python. And number three, have a high demand in job market. According to a survey last year, Python is the second most preferred programming language in the world. As a result, it has become one of the most high in demand technologies around the world. A Python developer salary in India is significantly higher than those who are working with the legacy web development languages. Python came into the forefront in recent days because of its ability to implement artificial intelligence, data science, and machine learning, all of which are really great skill sets in today's day and age. And now, where, where do I start? What road should I follow in order to be a super programmer? What we'll start off is with some basics of the language, variables, loops, functions, and conditions. One thing that I'll keep emphasizing over and over again is that practice. Do you remember how you learned English or Hindi? It was because people around you, your parents and teachers, spoke that language so much that you just picked it up. Programming language is somewhat similar to that. If you practice even for half an hour a day, in the next few months, you will be able to create and make your own project. Which brings me to the final stage of the path, a project. We will look at how we can build a project using Python. You remember the example of how I gave of how apps like Facebook, YouTube, Google Maps came to be. Programming allows you to do that. You can decide today that you'll come to learn programming in the next few weeks and months, just half an hour to one hour, and you can be the one building something people could use every day. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Introduction to Programming.